Welcome to the Creative Spaces Podcast with Guy Zwick and Scott Samil of Highway 85 Creative. In each episode, we will discuss creative ways to define your space and build your brand. Welcome to a, another edition of the, the award-winning Creative Spaces Podcast. I am Scott Samil, your co-host, joined by my pal and partner in crime, Guy Zwick. He always has so much good energy. I love the fellow. All right, so today's show, I'd just like to jump right into it. And uh, the topic, Joe just knocked it off the screen. I'll have to go off memory. But it's it's basically trade show mistakes to avoid, right? Yeah, we had a list to pick from, and uh, I don't know, that one stood out. I think so. So you were like, hey. But let's, let's talk about that. At the end of the day, when you show up on site, when you show up at your hall and you walk to your – this is a client now. They walk to their booth. They want it to be compelling. They want it to be working off of the, the plan they had. They want it to flow. They want it to work. In your experience, um, talk to me about some of the big mistakes companies make when doing trade shows. Is it graphics? Is it planning? No, they live too the close to the sun. Okay, talk to me about that. Um, Living know. too close to the sun. Yeah. Wow, it's a great set. Very dramatic. Yeah. Please and carry on. They need to pull they, – they, in, in most cases, uh, um, they could benefit from – Pull them back from that 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 deep sunburn and uh, take in the whole universe. Um, boy, I sound really philosophical. Now. No, but hold but, on. No, it's but, pretty high up there. But I think if you, you can know, hook it in, it's going to yeah. be strong. So there's there's. Need a hook. What do you mean? The, the too close to the sun for for most is they get into the weeds as you were suggesting, the weeds of you know filling out the show forms and the hotel rooms and. Um, all this logistical stuff that has to happen right. and um, you know the payments that come along with it and the approvals and and you know so they get into the the weeds of the show and then they just kind of take for granted that they have this marketing plan and this this the sales goals of the year and they're they're here they're always there and they just get into what I would call I see what you're saying they're you know, so they're so caught up in so the minutia of the administration of that mm-hmm. that has to happen. That by the time the show gets there, like, oh, my God, please let it be over. Because they're so worried about travel and hotel and changes and this off-site dinner and everybody's showing up with the right lanyards and the shirts and then the demo's not working. Where's our guy and where's the equipment? When hold up. Take a step back and ask yourself, why are we here? Right? There's a message and, or, or there's a goal mm-hmm. to the show. Like, is it meetings? Is it conversations? Is it – Right. Yeah, That's so about. so many of our our, our meetings, uh, you know, we have some going on right now for some shows that are happening early next year um, for, you know, CES and and natural products and a few others. And when we sit down for these meetings, it's it's immediately jumping into the what I call all the functional aspects of. Uh, and logistical aspects of the show, and and always gets thrown in there too. Is budget of always? Oh, we got to work on it. instead of. You know, yeah, you know, stepping back from that sun, looking at the whole universe and realizing that's probably the, the simplest thing to handle. Right. The least important and the most important is is getting these, you know, success criteria, the, 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 the key performance indicators identified, mapping goals for, for, for those, you know, for those things to happen, looking at who you're bringing to, sure. to, to the event as we were – Discussing, yeah, that's a good um, point. You, you take that for granted. Like you're just going to send the same sales staff, the yeah. same people. Um, people. I think people default to what they know, right? And let's face it, we uh, we talked about this before uh, on other shows. The devil is in the details. Wait, yes. please don't. Oh, go ahead. You have a thought? You, you're better at keeping the thoughts. I will lose them. You know that. So, okay, go ahead. Keep and, going. and another, <laughs> and, 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 and one that I find is very interesting is um, some of the most important people uh, aren't front stage at these shows, and they should be. Okay. Ownerships, leaders, head designers, they should be – they should – and some of them come as prima donnas. Right, right. Um, but they should be on the you actual know, floor. They, uh, they should be a huge part of the, uh, uh, of, of the energy. I mean, could you imagine if I, you know, didn't show up to my show until, you know, the second day yeah, and I right. set up some meetings and, you know, there's – um, yeah, uh, so th- I, I noticed that quite a bit. I, it, that's an interesting point. So, so is, there's there's people that companies have that would be huge assets to the show, to the actual, the energy, the actual, you know, the, the KPIs of the show. 
but they don't show up. They're not deemed critical to the production of this event, which they really should be, right? I think in some, many cases they, they, they are. Okay. Well, me, let, me, let me wrap it around back to um, a, a small point. We talked about the devils and the details. Mm-hmm. Everything matters, right? When you go to a show, booth attire, lanyards, um, time, cleanliness, all these things add to a good show. But what you're saying is if, you're, if you can get really fixated on this, the administrative um, – logistical stuff and you miss the more artistic reason why you're there right? mm-hmm. you have a brand to show you have a story to tell and your own assets your people assets being there if they're not if those people aren't right there's i don't care how you, know, you can have a really nice looking show and everybody's all matched up but it could be a boring dead zone right that's what you're saying yeah well you know we're uh, currently working on a project and this was a discussion that the client and uh i had um yesterday in fact on a WebEx conference call, and that was, you know, they've spent a lot of time over the last six months preparing for CES and, and getting all the different products and things that are going to be in the booth space. And it's, I mean, we got a, a Excel sheet of maybe ooh, 130 things that are going to be at this technology that's going to be at this show, and you got to get with these other vendors and 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 get approvals and samples and and so all this work is going on and guess what (laughs) we're discussing now when we're going to be you know and the energy had to be put on making all these deals and getting all this product and and, and stuff but now it's well how do we display them and now that we have got all this yeah we we now need to inject it into this space um and then to now we're you know rallying with their design team and, and we're having these discussions like, okay, we have all this, all this product to put out there. Right. How do we not make it look like crap? How do yeah. we tell the story right? How so do we- what, what would be the better way of doing it? Because the, the administrative stuff, the logistical stuff is important. Well, it's not going to go away, In this right? case, at least it has become a priority. Okay. Um, sometimes that is the last thing that gets – or doesn't even really – that's where it falls flat right. in a lot of these cases. All this heavy lifting was done, and it did need to be done. Sure, but, and, but to give it the criticality, the priority, it's like okay, now let's just make it look good. That's that's the wrong way. No, around. now you get to the Super Bowl, and, and which is CES in this technology, you know, hand. Right, and then you have nice uniforms. And you're having post show reviews, and yeah. you go. Wow, it looked like we just had all this stuff sitting on counters all around this giant, you know, hundred by hundred space, all dressed up and not ready to play. Yeah. So yeah, no. So we, we, when we're addressing that, right? right. But um, th- that 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 macro thing I'm describing happens a lot on small uh, uh, small senses too, where you just get in on all the the weeds, if you will, right. um, that are important. Right. You know. But, but isn't it, it? Wouldn't you? Couldn't you say though that if um, if an event is planned the right way, you put some of the weedy stuff, some of the micro stuff in its own in its own bucket. You have to hit him, the logistics, the hotel, the transport, all this stuff. Yeah. But what you're saying is before you even go, at least put a lot of um, weight on the theme, the feel, what you're trying to do, and the people, right? Yeah. All the – yes. You, you, you need to reverse engineer from your goals prior to getting into those weeds, meaning you set, you set, you set your success criteria – you know, or in other instances, I'm referring to your key performance indicators, um, and then reverse engineer what has to happen, both you know, structurally, artistically, um, logistically, and map out that plan. Um, and it just seems m- more often than not, it, it that pre-planning is happening in the middle or towards the latter half. You know. And you get into all the. I'm, I'm following the, you. You know what I'm saying. So like you're not. No, I'm hearing you. There's a. Think about the discussion we just had. Right. Just now. Yeah. Scott and I were just discussing another client and and their needs, and the the, the initial kickoff of our discussion was all about the weeds. Right. It was about the logistics and the weeds. Sure. And we, we we didn't even dive down the very first thing, which is is you know, um, we should have a meeting with this client yeah. just to discuss their goals. Let's and, kick it off. Yeah. You know and that's what it, that's what it and all, and, and maybe that does change some of our logistical right. discussions. But just people it's general, people it's, yeah, it's, it's that's the normal. Okay. That's what that's the normal. 
get into the weeds and not get into the pre real planning of the success of the show. Most people have, and a they budget. think they do. They have a, here's the thing about trade shows more than anything else in marketing, in my opinion, is that there's a hard line drawn with the trade show. You, it's going to happen. The event's going to happen. You can always um, postpone a software release or delay an email marketing campaign or the website relaunches. Yes, you know. But in terms of trade shows, you have to show up. So folks know the date and the show, and they know their budget. And that's usually it. What you're saying is let's have that kickoff meeting to discuss the main things and then put things in their proper basket because most people on the event side, or not most, but a lot of people will just end up being in their comfort zone, which is i got to make sure this, this, and this, and this happens, Mm -hmm. which is what you're saying. Hold Mm -hmm. on. Let's back up. Let's talk about the show first. And then you can kind of back into it, right? That's... And I find myself, with, even with my clients, it's, it's hard to lock them down. I, I, you want to ask them questions like, who should go? A lot of times they don't know. And it's hard work on your side to get them to, to lead them to water, but it's important. So going b- back to full circle, trade show mistakes, being too close to the sun, is people get too caught up in the weeds, micro-thinking. And before they even go there, just know that those things are going to happen. That's just, you can get them. It's work. But they're not, it's not crazy rocket science. To give birth to this event, you have to have the, the right message, the right theme, the right flow. Yeah. yeah. I, I, see, I see all that stuff as just busy work. It's, it has to happen. So you can decide that that is the, the bulk of your, your work on your trade shows is right. just being in the busy work. Right. Or you can see that busy work as, well, that's just a, a necessity. It's, it, but the real work is I got to spend some time really analyzing and planning and and pulling back from that sun and looking at you know Saturn and, and the moons and, right. and and then like have some creative ideas and, um, and and map a strategy and a plan that you know wows every single time instead of going through the motions which you know. I like it happens too often, and that's a good point. And uh, our uh, our our producer here, Joe, who's got a bit of a cold, he I, I promised not to bring him into the um, conversation. I'm kind of not, but I kind of am. There are some metaphors thrown around today, right? Or maybe that's the wrong word. Too close to the sun, micro versus micro, macro, bringing the right people. But if you could, if Joe could wrap a circle around what guy and I were just talking. Or a takeaway, not not too too lo- too loaded of a question, too leading. Like, what if if you're if you're the guy, if you're an event manager for your company, and you heard where I was talking, is there something that you pull from that? Be thoughtful. I mean, think think about who you're sending. Send send the right people. Think about why you're going to the show. Be thoughtful. Okay. Yeah, that's a part of it for sure, and I appreciate that. I mean, guy, anything else you want to add to that? Because. As we is if our audience, if, if the seven people that are listening, are saying, "Hey, um, how, how, what's my takeaway here?" It is don't overweight the stuff that is, you know, the to do list. That, that's just it'll happen. It's just task that's easy enough. And Before, don't undervalue the opportunity that the trade show has to talk to more people, uh, vendors, clients, prospects in one place, focused on. The, the same thing, um, not take that for granted. You're not going to have that ability to, you know, be in front of 30,000 people. It's at, a waiting at, thing. It's, at, it's at a waiting, some of these larger that, shows. Or even point. if it's a small show and you've got 3,000 targeted, you know, people at that show, and you really only need to be working with five or ten of them to, like, just change your company's, you know, whole um, yeah, the, 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 the whole arc. I mean, if all you need to do is talk to those eight or ten companies, then do what you can do so that when you show up, you're talking to them. And, and that's what we're saying. Be true to you. Do it well. Be smart. Um, so be work th- hard. <clears throat> Joe said be thoughtful. This is kind of getting yep. a little bit out there. But the mm-hmm. point is, if you're a big mistake that a lot of companies make is not giving proper weight in respect to the actual show and given too much weight to the administrative to-dos. Yes, Those can that's happen. well put. All right. Thank you for listening to Creative Spaces Podcast. For more information about Highway 85 Creative, visit us at highway85creative.com.